So, just came across something quite interesting. These I came across at the Belconnen Mall. And whilst they're very, very common plants in Australia, especially for landscaping and in, um, along streets and in all sorts of places, you don't see them very commonly in Canberra. This here is the fruit of a lily pilly. Now lily pillies are a subtropical fruit. They are commonly known and thought of as a rainforest fruit. They are used extensively in places like Perth and Adelaide and Sydney and Melbourne um, along the curbs and verges. And what's interesting about them is they're not meant to be able to tolerate the frosts in Canberra particularly well. So when I saw, and there's a few of these trees, there's, there's three or four of these trees outside uh, the entrance near JP Hi-Fi in the Belconnen Mall. And when I saw these, I was quite interested to see them because they're, they are an edible fruit. Um, I've never tried them before. I have a few of them here. So I'll give them a go. Let's see what they taste like. Um, they're not meant to be particularly good. They're in a family called Syzygium. This is probably the common lily pilly, um, otherwise known as Syzygium smithy. And I believe they're quite common in New Zealand as well, where they've got a, a, another name which um, which escapes me, which I can't recall. Um, it's interesting to me because when I find a fruit like this, uh, which shouldn't necessarily be growing in an area like Canberra, it gives me people calling me in the middle of my videos. When I see these, it gives me a lot of hope for the subtropicals and tropicals that I'm trying to grow as well because um, if, if these can grow and fruit and grow quite large with protection because these are kind of near an underground car park it makes me think that with protection I'll also be able to grow some um, subtropical and borderline fruits particularly the, the white sapote, some types of citrus um, and some of the other tropicals that you've been following along. So before someone tries to call me again give these a bit of a taste I guess I don't really know what to expect about it but um, they don't have any smell they're quite firm to touch um, they feel I don't know if you give them a bit of pressure they, they kind of they kind of give a bit You'll probably see I put a little dent in it just by squeezing it then but uh, let's give it a go I guess And there's a small seed inside. The flesh is crispy. I don't know if you can see on camera there, but inside the, the cell walls are quite large. It's almost like a watermelon. Um, watermelon's a good description of, of the texture of this plant. I'm gonna pull that seed out, we'll eat the rest, I guess. Okay, it's sweet, it's watery, it has some sort of herbal flavour to it, like a background, maybe some sort of eucalypti sort of flavour, maybe, um, let me turn my phone on silent, I'll be right back. Okay, back, one of the joys of being in real estate, I guess, the phone never stops, uh, you never get a moment of peace to yourself. Even now I'm running off after this between appointments, which is why I'm filming this in my car. I didn't think I'm gonna have time, I'm gonna be home quite late tonight, so I thought, look, I'll just chuck this together. And um, we'll give another one a try, just to refresh my memory.
it's sweet and watery not a lot of flavor to it it's uh, very mild it's like a watered down if you got um, it doesn't taste like a watermelon but you know if you're eating a watermelon and as you approach from the red center towards the white kind of outside the, before the skin you kind of get less and less flavor it's just more of a slightly sweet watery texture That last bit might not have been particularly right. There was a bit of astringency in that little section that I just ate. A little bit of sourness to that section as well. So it's clear that you need to get them when they're perfectly ripe, or else um, yeah, that, that astringency is not very pleasant. I didn't want to swallow that, that's for sure. Um, but I think overall, if you're in Belconnen and you want to try something different, um, those lily pilly plants, they're just outside. Um, the car park uh, at the JP Hi-Fi entrance. The trees are covered in um, covered in the fruits, which you probably saw just uh, at the as I probably will cut in this video. The tree that I took it from. Um, I don't know how long they're going to flower for. I've never seen them fruiting before, and I've, I've walked past those trees now every day for years, and I've never seen fruits on them. And it might be now that I'm just kind of paying more attention to these things, or maybe it's that this has been a particularly wet winter last year and a particularly warm winter last year that has allowed them to fruit but the trees are very very healthy um, the, the fruits are not something you'd buy at the shops but at the same time it's worthwhile I don't know the exact variety I think it's smithy um, but uh, the, the syzygiums, uh, all, all the lily pillies are, are edible as far as I'm aware I don't think there's any toxic ones um, these are, in fact, a few of these, as a side note, a few of these syzygiums used to be classified in the Eugenia family, which is uh, a lot of the, well, not a lot, but some of the, the tropical plants, like the Nangipaya that we looked at the other day, um, they're in the Eugenia family, and they produce a large variety of subtropical fruits that are meant to be relatively more hardy than, for instance, the Anonas and, and some of the other common, um, uh, the common, subtropical plants that we see so yeah give it a go um, let me know what you think of their flavor if you do get out there and have a try or if perhaps you're living somewhere else in Australia where the lily pilly is more common and you've never actually um, had a go had a taste it's not gonna hurt you a um, little bit astringent and a little bit herby tasting if they're not particularly ripe like that last one was I'm probably not gonna eat any more of these I think I've uh, quelled my curiosity but as far as native bush foods go there we have it, the lily pilly. Thanks a lot guys.